Uh, hey guys, this is Swan from Krills.net and I'm just going to show you in this video how to set up IRR Lect 3D Engine with Visual Studio 2008. Alright, so um, this is the IRR Lect website, it's um, irrlect.sourceforge.net and you can download it from the little panel that says downloads here and yeah, you got 1.4.2 is the latest version and that's about uh, 20 megabytes. So once you've downloaded that, just um, go into the IRLict folder, I've got it right here, and go into Examples, and then 01 Hello World. Now copy, because I'm using 2008, I'll use the VC9 version, copy the Hello World.sln and all the VC project files, the make file, and the main.cpp file. Copy them into a project folder and load up that project. So yeah, you've got your main file here and that's all the stuff for the first example. Now you've got to go to tools and options and go to the projects and solutions tree and go to VC++ directories. And here you've got all these directories like executable files and stuff like that. You want to go down to include files and make sure you've got the directory for your IRLict directory, like include directory. So just show you how to do that. Create a new entry. Go to your IRLict directory. And then select the include folder. And just make sure that's okay, which it is by pressing the tick. Then go to library files and as you can see here I've linked it to my IRLict folder lib lib folder so just do the same with that except um, put it to the lib slash win32 or win64 depending on what you're using Visual Studio directory and uh, yeah that's about it um, for the setting up now you've got to add the actual library files to your project. So you go to the bin directory inside your IRLict folder and select your version which I'm using Win32 Visual Studio and copy the irlict.dll and irklang.dll files and copy them into your directory then add them to your project. So as you can see, they're in that tree there. And if all goes well, as you can see, it loads up. Now, normally it would display a um, a model and stuff like that, but because of all the directory sorting out, because you see it's got a relative directory to media slash sydney.md2 which is in the actual IRLict directory where it's got the media folder it's not relative so if you want that model to show up then you've actually got to change that relative directory or copy the files in but uh, yeah that's basically how you set up IRLict with Visual Studio 2008